நமஸ்காரம் அக்னான திமுராந்தசிய நானாஞ்சன சலாக்கிய சக்ஷூர் உண்மணத்தமியன தஸ்மை ஸ்ரீ குருவே நமக ஸோ டுடேஸ் கோட் ஸோ ஐம் ஜஸ்ட் பிளானிங் டு எக்ஸ்பிளைன் சம் டெய்லி கோட்ஸ் வென் அவர் பாசிபிள் வென் ஐ ஹாவ் டைம் so today i today i thought of uh, making a video because there was a um, quote which i said about uh, dumavadi the great mahavidya one among the mahavidya dumavadi devi so she always uh, misunderstood uh, Uh, yes uh, being uh, the, and the devotees are normally scared of mahavidyas uh, uh, like tumavadi bahalamugi and chinnamasta but uh, these mahavidyas uh, are meant to to give huge uh, transformation uh, for the devotees who practices uh, and uh, surrender themselves to her if you see uh, today's uh, quote on dumavadi mahavidya yada yogi sukshmena maha nirakara visaye manasi tatsamyukte dumavadi pravartyate so see uh, normally uh, when we get into yogic practices uh, so there are different uh, uh, way that the ultimate purpose of doing the yogic practices uh, is to is to make sure uh, we are uh, getting a prana uh, with the help of uh, devi uh, to merge ourselves with our original state, state which is ishvara so we all know that uh, we are part and parcel of uh, supreme consciousness we are uh, bhairava or we are uh, one elemental part of bhairava we have uh, uh, the same uh, tatva everything is same only thing uh, the difference is uh, we took this uh, manishya body to dissolve the karmic seeds that we have so so before even uh, we take this body uh, the karmic seeds uh, is in sukshma which our jnana shakti and uh, icha shakti so we are creating this uh, we ourselves with our own free will according to the karmic seeds the intensity of the karmic seeds the karma we are selecting the place we are selecting the body the relatives the situations and the kriya icha shakti and jnana shakti is getting a shape of this body and the time you are getting this body the birth time when you are opening the eyes that's a time uh, the time start kicking so the kriya shakti is getting activated from the time that is been started until the last breath it is the linear progress and the time is going forward so uh, one thing we need to understand uh, is ultimate purpose of uh, getting this body uh, is to burn this karmic seed there are three ways that we can be i think people who knows me who spoke with me before knows uh, this very well i am just repeating once again there are three ways that you can burn the karma one is that just by uh, acting on it uh, performing karma yoga so when we perform the karma yoga uh, the problem uh, which we face is since we are attached uh, to this body and we completely forget our awareness of uh, our own self so we uh, we see everything like uh, this is my mother this is my uh, car this is my house this is my wife and this is my kids and we get more attached so that we forget our own identity and we start relate ourselves uh, to the people uh, circumstances and that creates emotions and that creates a lot of clashes and uh, the dualities comes into the play so the problem is uh, the unforgetfulness of our own identity and the attachment which we have on the uh, 
mortal uh, temporal uh, the the kriya that we are doing so because of that uh, we have the dualities pain and happiness if we have good time if we feel uh, according to the uh, fluctuations of the mind according to the conditioning of the mind we we react to situations emotions and uh, things like that so uh, first thing is just performing it and some fine days some wisdom will come so uh, we, we 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 out of uh, our own ability we can just dissolve the karma karmic seed but it's a very tough process because we will be stuck the wisdom needs to be very high otherwise we will stuck in this again we adding more karmas so make the situation very worse the second uh, uh, way is uh, through jyotisha and uh, the scriptures utilizing the jnana path uh, by uh, utilizing the jyotisha jyotisha is one of the uh, sastra one of the vedic uh, tool uh, along with other uh, uh, sastra like mantra sastras where we with jyotisha with jyotisha we could able to understand the play of planets and how it is uh, shaping the karma so we can able to understand the karmic seed very well uh, with very good uh, mathematical knowledge jyotishis i believe should have a high intellectual knowledge it's not jyotisha is uh, uh, always true uh, the problem is with uh, uh, the jyotishis who doesn't have much uh, intellectual uh, knowledge to decode the karmic formula which we all have so once you know this karmic uh, bondage the the sukshma layer of karma so we can able to get uh, remove that by utilizing the mantra sadhana so mantra sadhana uh, mantra is uh, like uh, reaching the energy uh, and frequency layers of the particular uh, deity who could able to uh, who can able to solve the burn the particular karma which we have so for example if we have uh, if you are running uh, if you have issues with uh, sunny as a planet okay where it is it is been heavily uh, causing karmic uh, issues to us so uh, so worshiping mahakali uh, by chanting the mahakali mula mantras followed by uh, date yoga i'm just mentioning about the date yoga date yoga is uh, the uh, second and the third uh, first you know it just act without anything just performing the karma second level is understanding the jyotisha sastra and getting the uh, shadowing ourselves so that uh, we are escaping from the particular uh, burning the karmic seeds ourselves so the particular uh, pains are not happening to us the third uh, so i'm just explaining duma of this code but before even i i think you need to understand why we are doing all this deity yoga okay what deity yoga is all about uh, see so second level which i am speaking about is uh, understanding and chanting the mantras the mula mantras getting uh, into the layers of uh, getting ourselves transformed to that particular deity so that we are burning the sukshma level of karmic uh, bondage we have so that we don't experience the uh, kriya which is going to happen because of that particular uh, planet of karmic impressions the third uh, way is uh, through yogic practices so yogic practices uh, always uh, uh, to be done along uh, with the mantra sadhana initially because uh, initially it is very tough for us to get into the tapas to get reach ourselves to the particular realm of those uh, deities in the cosmic zone so yogic practice and tapas is using the power of prana the taking the kundalini energy and accessing the karmic zones ourselves by using the help of deity which we are worshiping which will help us to solve the issues ourselves utilizing either the mantra sadhana or yogic practices 
are integrating both so uh, having said this as a back i will make deity yoga uh, yes a dif different video but having said this very briefly uh, we are going to uh, get into uh, today's uh, the samha vidya uh, one of the mahavidyas uh, quote which i have mentioned which is dumavati here uh, so we are mentioning about yada yogi sukshmena maha nirakare visaye manasi tatsam yukte dumavadi prapadyate so when the subtle mind transcends the illusion of duality so yes uh, we discussed duality is the pain and happiness anything which is uh, creating the duality which is causing pain and happiness uh, so uh, the so we need the, that duality we need to uh, the illusion of the duality we need to transcend when the mind is transcending that uh, duality and when the yogi immerses in the essence of the formless void so when the my yoga chitta vritti nirodha in panjali yoga so when the mind is getting freed and there is no thought so we access the layer of formless void the sunyata so we could able to access that sunyata the ultimate silence ultimate void so that we could able to access the realm of dumavadi so that's a space where we can search and find the realm of dumavadi the frequency the energy zone of dumavadi which is the wisdom of emptiness which will which when we access and when we get uh, get part of that dimension we will become we will understand where all phenomena dissolve into the vastness of supreme reality so uh, then we could able to become the state of uh, supreme reality we could able to understand that uh, being even in this body we could be able to achieve the state of immortality state of supreme reality iswaratva so this is uh, dumavadi is uh, is mainly uh, playing around in the mind chakra the manas so uh, worshiping uh, performing dumavadi uh, that's why dumavadi in nagarga is a sasu kedu it's associated with kedu where the kedu uh, uh, and the mind and manas is always uh, interrelated and kedu is also is a gnana karaga right it's also a uh, wisdom planet uh, so which will give high spirituality so uh, when we have dumavadi practices on our daily life so this will able to help us uh, dissolve the mind we can able to dumavadi devi will also help any troubles that is been caused because of the mental is mind mind issues uh, the thought process it can able to bring uh, clean thoughts the negativities can be reduced and more positivity will come into the mind so uh, so it's about when we access the mind uh, the mind zone the mind chakra of dumavadi so uh, we we could able to see uh, the dumavadi you know it's like a smoke the zone of smoke dumavadi herself is associated with the smoke of uh, void the state that exists beyond du dualities the, it's a dimension which exists beyond dualities when you access that you will find the smoke uh, and that zone is very calm it's a sunyata place so it's very uh, this knowledge uh, it's very secretive so performing this yogic practices is always uh, in a closed uh, it needs to be transformed from uh, the authorized uh, yogic practitioners who could able to uh, teach you but you can uh, and also according to the problems uh, jyotishas can help you to find out uh, what kind of problems uh, is there for you in your karmic uh, uh, impressions so based on that when dumavadi is been uh, practiced on a daily basis or according to the sadhana the strategies of your life you can de definitely without any scare definitely you can use on a sattvic state performing the mantras getting into the plane of yogic uh, practices uh, and accessing the reality ultimate reality form which is dumavadi so dumavadi you know she is uh, compared to the kala sangarsani kali kali mahakali the highest form of mahakali which is uh, beyond the 36th tattva which uh, who is there 
beyond the 36 tattva she is also called as uh, called uh, beyond the uh, beyond 36 tattvas you can find uh, this form kala sangarsan called the greatest form of bahakali so the same dumavadi is also perceived as kala sangarsan that's that's the power of dumavadi so please uh, remove all the fear that you have with perceiving uh, dumavadi so, but you need to have a proper prescription uh, from the good jodhisas around also uh, see you can also worship dumavadi on non jodhis also if you are uh, fond of worshiping or you are directly with your vision you are getting a call from dumavadi also you can worship uh, and you, uh, it depends on how you feel and uh, what stage of uh, yogic sadhana you are. So this quote is uh, almost uh, about how we can cross the, how can freeze the mind, how we can able to stop the dualities, how we can stop uh, in, uh, being, uh, get stuck with the emotional uh, inability in illusion. So this, uh, how we achieve peace all this, I think, worshipping Dumavadi uh, through any uh, form, like Vaikari through Mandra. Vaikari, uh, there are three three levels of doing Mandra Sadhana also. One is Vaikari, where you can uh, directly chant the Mandra. Second is Madhyama, where you're getting into the uh, Manas, layers of Manas, and you're just uh, getting the Mandra Sanya mind level, okay? The third level is Pasyanti. Pasyanti is getting uh, into the ethereal zone of uh, Dumavadi, getting into the wide space of that smoky zone of Dumavadi. And uh, in tapas, uh, just merge with that uh, space. And uh, through prana, you can uh, uh, use this uh, mantra of Dumavadi and get success in your life. So thank you very much. I'm just ending uh, today's uh, video, today's quote. So we started our quote, first quote discussion on 31st August at 3.33, I mean 3.33 p.m. So that's a 3.33, that's a jnana number. So we have discussed and we are closing this video at 31st August, 3.33 p.m. So this is a lucky uh, number for me as well, the combination of threes. And also it's a number of uh, spiritual elevation. So we started our first quote on this day. I hope we will continue this discussion on a, on a daily basis. I think not daily, might be uh, weekly, twice or thrice. Uh, whenever uh, we will find some quotes, which is uh, very important to discuss uh, to remove the scars. Particularly Dumavadi, there are questions uh, that comes to me whether we can worship Dumavadi or not. As well, Chenna Master Devi also. So I'm just addressing uh, for them that differently, uh, but with the proper uh, procedures, with proper uh, procedures you need to do. Thank you very much uh, for uh, listening to me. And uh, I wish you a very happy, healthy, prosperous day for you, life for you. Om Tat Sat, Om Tat Sat, Om Tat Sat. Namaskar. Please subscribe to our Vedi Books YouTube channel by clicking on the bell icon.